Hi, welcome to my farmhouse. I'm Leanne, and if you're new to my channel, I do cooking and baking from scratch, canning and dehydrating videos. If that sort of thing is just you, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're hitting that notification bell to be notified when I upload my next video. Today's video is another installment in the Pies of March collaboration. It's hosted by myself and Tony over at Kettle Kitchen, and we have 33 channels involved this month bringing you pies from either whole or half or whoopee or savory or every kind of pie imaginable. So make sure you're following the playlist that I'm going to leave down below for you and make sure you're commenting to be entered into the grand prize drawing which will be held on April 3rd 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel and there's going to be a hundred dollar Amazon e-gift card given away along with door prizes so you don't want to miss that but we're gonna get you inspired for Easter and make sure you're confident in making pies for the holiday or just inspire you to get better at making pies because pies are really supposed to be easy. So with that being said, let's get to making some pie, shall we? We are using the Farm Journal's Complete Pie Cookbook. It is copyrighted from 1965 and it is a farm wife's guide to making the best pies and I'll leave you a link down below to get your copy if if it's available and I've made the pie crust out of this book and it's wonderful to make marble pie we just need a few simple ingredients we're going to use a cup of applesauce that's unsweetened and I'm using my home canned applesauce three tablespoons of lemon juice and a half a teaspoon of the zest a cup of sugar, four eggs, a half a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of melted butter that I've already melted, and a unbaked pie shell. And I'm using a nine inch pie shell. Well, let's get this going. All right, we just need a half a teaspoon of lemon juice, and I should wash it first. All right, we just need a half a teaspoon of lemon zest and always wash your fruit, especially when you're gonna eat the part where it's been touched by other people and who knows what else it's been touched with. All right, this recipe is so easy, it's dump and go. So I'm gonna leave that there and we're gonna cut our lemon. And juice it. Since this is a dumping gum recipe, I'm gonna crack my eggs first to save dishes. And we're gonna slightly beat these. And we're gonna, then we'll incorporate our sugar and our lemon zest. Our half a teaspoon of salt. Our melted two tablespoons of butter. And our lemon juice. And our home canned applesauce. I've had a few comments on my other videos using applesauce that you just love how I use applesauce in a lot of my recipes. I just try to cook what I from what I have on hand. All right, that's about one cup. And virtually this is how this pie was made back in the 1600s. Back in New England times, they took what the apples that were going bad and cut them up and 
made applesauce from them. And this pie dates back further than that from England, but this pie was made out of necessity. So we're just going to mix it combine. And that's about it. Other recipes call for cinnamon and nutmeg, which I think you should do that to taste. Maybe, because you know how much I love cinnamon. We're gonna put some in. Actually, why don't we just put in some apple pie spice, because that's basically all it is. All right, we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of apple pie spice. Because some recipes call for mace, and I'm sure some call for cardamom. So it's just a custard pie with applesauce and butter and voila something from your pantry that you already have. All right. We'll get our pie shell out of the refrigerator and just pour it in. And you want to preheat your oven to 450. That sounds high, but <laughs> that's how they bake this pie back in the old days. I still don't know how they did it back in the 1600s that way, but you know, it goes to show you what little I know. Let me clean this up. So look how beautiful that is and how easy it was to put together. So we're gonna bake it for 15 minutes at 450, then we're gonna drop it to 350 for another 10 minutes. All right, we're gonna change the temperature to 350 and we're gonna bake another 10 to 15 minutes. All right, let's check out this pie. See if it's done. The book says you should be able to put a knife in the middle of it, and if it comes out clean like a cake, then it's done. And this is also a pudding that you can just put in a casserole dish without the crust, if you're hesitant to make pie crust. And you can also do that with lemon sponge pie. You can just make the filling and pour it into a casserole dish that's greased and bake it so long. So we're going to let this completely cool before we even cut into it. Would you like some pie, sir? So what do I eat it with? A clean fork. No, it does not. Yes, it does. You can't taste the applesauce in it? It's, yeah, but it's very similar. So which pie would you prefer? I don't know. Either one. Kitty wants a piece. that close. I taste the applesauce before I taste the lemon. I see how you think they're similar, but I think they're two different things. 
The lemon is not as strong in this one as the last one. Remember, God gave you a great day. Now go do something great. Thanks so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, may I suggest you watching this next. Take care and God bless.